Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding topics. First, we're gonna take another look at a Flex Pro Italy. We have a scorecard, and we also got another video from a very interesting angle and a different quality. This is not from the live stream, so you can see a little bit more clearly maybe what happened here. As you guys know, Bakhru Stabani won. In my opinion, it was very, very extremely close but the scorecard is not exactly showing that. Based on the scorecard, it was a perfect score, it was a perfect win for Behrus Tabani, which doesn't seem right. Now, as you can see also, Amir Omeragic took third, and Christian Wolski went all the way down to sixth. But as far as Nathan and Bechrus, I was honestly very much surprised to see this result right here, to see the scoring. This doesn't mean anything. Yeah, Bechrus won by a perfect score, but that only means that all the judges decided that he's the winner. That doesn't mean that the judges didn't think that Nathan is close. Right, so it only means that they all decided that Bechrus is winning. Nobody decided that Nathan is winning, but they might have thought that it was extremely close. But if it was really that close, I guess some of the judges would actually have Nathan winning. However, that didn't happen. So apparently, it wasn't as close as I thought, as many of us thought it was. If I was perfectly honest with you guys, I actually thought Nathan edged Bechrus out. That's the way I saw it. I know I'm wrong, but I just have to say what I thought, and that's what I thought. I can see why Bechrus won, I have no problem with that. I should be cheering for Bechrus because he's coached by Milo Sharchev, my fellow countryman, but honestly, I just, I just felt like Nathan was a little bit better overall, more complete. Now, I can see all the reasons why Nathan deserved to win this. Structure, more so than anything else, probably. Like, Nathan's obliques and his waist size didn't look the most aesthetic. And Bechrus is super aesthetic. But I thought it was bodybuilding and, like, size and fullness matter more. And also, like, his bicep, one bicep is, um, you know, half the size of the other. Also, one leg is smaller than the other. So, he wasn't exactly super balanced. But overall, I mean, he had better legs. Uh, and, like, he was fuller and, and more, like, more round, bigger. I thought it was what they were looking for. But apparently, they went with conditioning and, and shape. And Bechrus truly does have phenomenal shape. He's really wide in the shoulders, especially compared to his waist. So his, his silhouette, his uh, lines, his structure, that's all phenomenal. But again, look at the difference in fullness, in size. I definitely thought Nathan was just rounder, bigger, and I thought it was enough, but apparently it wasn't. And again, I have no issue with this. Uh, Bechrus' side leg details, and also the back and the details in the lower body from behind, you know, those peeled, peeled glutes, uh, huge hamstrings and like legs overall, and the back, that crazy, crazy X frame from behind especially, and also from the front, you know, it was very, very good. So I thought it was extremely close, that it could have went either way, for me personally, I thought it was Nathan, but maybe this all looked completely different in person, maybe Bechrus was so much more ripped, so much more shredded, that you just couldn't ignore ignore him, you know, conditioning, structure, and definitely comparable size, it makes sense, it makes sense why he won, but I wasn't so sure if this is gonna be the way, and I wasn't expecting a perfect score, but whatever, you, this pose is amazing of Becker's, whatever you guys think, however you felt, tell me down below. Alright, next up, we got Mo Fuda, Mohamed Fuda, and uh, he's gonna be competing sometime soon. I'm not sure exactly when and which show, but I think one of the next shows. Like, it could be Portugal Pro or Chicago Pro, but one thing is for sure, he looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, if you guys don't know, this guy is a pro. He competed last year, I think it was his pro debut at the Romania Pro, here you can see him on the left, he was in that first callout in the top 6, and he looked very much comparable against uh, all the top guys, against Samson, uh, Bechrus, Nathan Diasha, Horse MD, and Andrea Presti, he actually looked very very good standing next to them. From the front, back, and from the side, like, he was very, very complete, had crazy structure, crazy bubbly muscle, really good conditioning, and last year he was coached by Honey Rambert, actually. Could his uh, pro debut have went any better? Maybe, but probably not. He had the best coach in his corner. Or did he? Is Honey Rambert really still the best coach? 
Or could it now be Stefan Kinzel? Because Stefan is actually coaching this guy this year. And as you can see right here in this uh, post from uh, three weeks ago, uh, he says in a hashtag though, but he says few weeks out. And this was three weeks ago. So I'm guessing one of the next shows is his show to do. Can he win, for example, Portugal Pro against William Bonek? I mean, nobody is expecting that. But I think he made some solid progress in this one year, in the offseason. I think he looks so much better now than last year. And now he's working with Stefan Kinzel. And guys, Stefan Kinzel is a full-time coach. That's his job. That's what he does. Hanni Rambert is more like a businessman. And he's coaching a couple of guys on the side. You know, the very top guys, however, yeah, but he has his supplement company and he has a podcast, probably some other businesses. So, you know, he's not exactly only a coach. So now that Mo Fuda is working with uh, Stefan Kinzel and has his undivided attention and also that he had an entire off season in the meantime and made progress... I think this guy is going to surprise a lot of people. So I'm telling you right now, pay attention to this guy. I'm not sure which show he's going to do. I'm guessing Chicago Pro or Portugal Pro, something like that. But I think the next show he does, he might very well win it and go to the Mr. Olympia this year. This guy has crazy amount of potential. He has crazy muscle bellies, super small joints. Everything is so popping, everything is so thick, so dense. Uh, conditioning is gonna be amazing, I'm sure, this year. Uh, yeah, this guy is definitely a huge potential. One of the new guys coming who are gonna be freaks. I'm sure about that. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. What do you think about Mofuda? All right, and finally, we got a new physique update from Wesley Wissers. In this physique update, he definitely looks leaner than he did in his previous one from a couple of weeks ago. Now, of course, he is prepping for the Mr. Olympia. His coach is also Stefan Kinzel, and uh, Stefan brought uh, Wesley at the Arnold Classic as good as, uh, as Wesley gets. And as I mentioned also before, uh, his children, Wesley's children, have, have grown enough so he can, so now he can get enough sleep and can focus more on himself. He wasn't able to do that earlier. So with all that, you know, he has basically perfect conditions to bring his absolute best to the Mr. Olympia stage. And he is one of the guys that we are looking as the potential threat to the classic physique Mr. Olympia title. Can he defeat Chris Bumstead? Well, in my opinion, it's probably going to be him who's going to be challenging Chris Bumstead this year. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a two-man callout. Yeah, Ramon Dino is also very good. He might be in that call-out. It might be a three-man call-out. He wasn't his best at the Arnold Classic. He's going to improve a lot, I'm sure. But still, you know, they are, they are looking for these kind of guys with really classic-looking structures and with the height. You know, Wesley is very, very tall. And, like, with his huge freaking arms and popping, popping lats and, like, uh, really good axe frame. Uh, not really an axe frame, but really good wee taper. You know, he's gonna stand out a lot. He's gonna be probably the biggest guy on that stage, as far as the top guys. He's taller than Chris Bumstead, quite a bit. I think he's like two inches taller, something like that. And of course, a lot heavier, a lot bigger. So he's gonna, I'm not saying he's gonna dwarf Chris Bumstead, but he's gonna be bigger than him, that's for sure. And as far as conditioning, I think he's gonna be just as conditioned. He's definitely gonna have bigger arms, maybe even wider and bigger back. He's gonna lose in the leg department, and his waist is not as small as Chris Bumstead's. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's really difficult to say that anybody can defeat Chris Bumstead, but this is gonna be an amazing comparison. It's gonna be so much fun to watch that. As you can see, Wesley is getting sharper by the day. His conditioning is improving, and I'm expecting the best possible version, the best ever version of Wesley Wissers this year at the Mr. Olympia. What do you guys think? We also got a little update from Chris Bumstead. It's not really much. He rarely posts any physique updates. Here, at least, he did a little front double bicep, wearing his tank top, unfortunately. But you can see that he's, that he's prepping, at least. That's also a big question, when he's gonna retire. He said he won't compete in his 30s, and he's turning 30 next year. So that's probably gonna be it. 
this is gonna be probably his last Mr. Olympia, but he is prepping for this one, that's for sure, I also heard Jan Wallier in the podcast say that he's gonna go down and help him, uh, help Chris Bumstead with his training and so on in his Mr. Olympia prep, so yeah, we're gonna see him this year at the Mr. Olympia, and if this is his last Mr. Olympia, even if he doesn't look the best, they'll probably give it to him, you know, they probably won't let him lose his last Mr. Olympia with the legacy that he has, but overall, I think he's gonna look great, I don't think there are any injuries that we know of, uh, he looks, you know, big right here, pretty big, pretty round, conditioning is also looking pretty decent, uh, but there is uh, 16 more weeks to get ready for the stage, so he's gonna be ready, no doubt about that, and most likely gonna win the Mr. Olympia, but you never know, you never know, if he doesn't deserve it, maybe, maybe they give it to Wesley Wister or somebody like that. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.